All right, this is the second instrument in our keyboard family. This is a harpsichord. You can see that it has a lot of things in common with the piano. It has the same basic sort of shape, long and sort of tapering into the middle. It's got a keyboard. But what do you notice about this keyboard? You should see a couple of things. One, there's not just one. There are actually two keyboards. Some key harpsichords actually only have one keyboard, but two is uh, more like the standard. You'll also notice that the keys are backwards in terms of color. What used to be white keys on the piano are black, and the black keys on the piano are now white. The layout is exactly the same. It's just that the colors are reversed. I have no idea why that is. Maybe you can do some research and you can let me know why they decided to reverse the colors. But this is fairly standard. You will see some modern harpsichords where they, they go white and black just because of what it is. But this is the basic construction of a harpsichord. So we play it the same way. We press the keys down. But you can see that it's not very loud because I wasn't being timid about that. I'm pushing that just about as hard as I can push it. So you can see why the piano was such an advantage. This poor little instrument, working as hard as I can with it, you can barely hear it you know, 10 feet away. That's because of the way that the instrument produces the sound. So now let's get inside this harpsichord and see how it actually creates sound. Now we're on the inside of the harpsichord. Let's look at the difference between it and the piano. First, Remember we had that whole long row of black damper things on the top, and there's nothing like that in here. There's no hammers here. Instead, we have what looks like a bunch of gigantic screws or something lined up together here. What happens here inside the harpsichord is that instead of a hammer striking the strings, what happens is that one of these little devices comes up and plucks the string. There's actually a little piece right here that's really hard to see that comes up and grabs the string and that's what makes the sound. It's called a plectrum, that's, a, that's its technical term. So this is considered a string instrument as well as a keyboard because of the way the sound is produced. The sound is produced by plucking a string. Now, just like violins, you know, you go to the orchestra, they're forever tuning the thing. A harpsichord has to be tuned every time you want to play it. A piano will stay in tune for quite a long time. A harpsichord goes out of tune very quickly and we didn't have this tune for us. So we're not gonna try to play anything for you that's real, but. But you can see that it's a very different kind of sound. It's, it's string sounding. It's not like the big powerful sound of the piano. You can also see that the strings go laterally. On our piano, the strings were all strung this direction. So now we have strings strung in what we call these courses, so they're one up above each other. And so we have a whole row of these that are plucking various different strings on the inside. So that's what makes a harpsichord very different from a piano. It can't play nearly as loudly because the strings can only do what the strings can do. Now you can create some different... You can see that those sounds are a little bit different, a little bit out of tune as well, but, but the, the tone quality can be, can be different. They can pull some stops things here on the front, do some things with pedals that actually change the sound quality, but it's always going to be fairly soft. It's always going to have a sort of a tinkly sound to it just because of the way that the sound is produced. A little bit better than Schroeder's piano on Peanuts, but not significantly better than what you think of as a kind of a good toy piano. But it's a very interesting sound. It's used a lot in the Baroque period, so you'll hear a lot of it when we listen to Bach in that period of time. And in fact, if you hear harpsichord being played, you can pretty much guess it's from one of two periods. It's either from the Baroque or it's from the modern period when it kind of made a resurgence because it was an old sound that was kind of cool. So that's a harpsichord, lots of strings, not as many as a piano, no metal. You see that there's no, no big metal board here. These strings are strung very, much more loose um, than the tension is much more loose on the harpsichord, which also makes it so it can't play very loudly. So that's our second keyboard instrument.